afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cardinals and the Longhorns. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Ty Madden will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? One of the keys to look for with this guy this afternoon, he's had a really difficult time getting people out with runners in scoring position. Over 300 average against coming into this start. He's really struggled when there's been traffic on the bases, and this is something he's going to have to clean up. Into the box, Nick Brewster, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Dero, what's the word on this club as they start the new month? Yeah, Matty, this team has been putting up a lot of runs lately from top to bottom, just swinging the bat super nice, past the baton mentality. Guys not trying to do too much, trusting in the teammates behind them. At the plate, Adam Campos. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Guys, you take a look at the home nine as they enter play here this afternoon. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, man, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. One out, nobody on. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. Our temperature should get us up into the 70s as we move along. 68 at first pitch. The one and two pitch. Weekly hit towards first. Scooped up. And that's the second out. That is third. The second base. Off three. Two spread off. Now at the plate, Austin Kuzminov. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull the trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0-2 now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. At the plate, Duke Ellis. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. 
Here comes the first pitch. Dan Dero, as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field in this scoreless ball game, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw. Of Ouch, that one hit him. Of course the crowd is going to get on him a little bit here, but I find it hard to believe there was any intention there. Bottom of the first, you never want to dig yourself a hole on the mound just to send a message. Standing in, Brandon Dixon. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch curveball looked at here for strike one so let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Woody Keller Woody Keller this is my nightmare he likes to call a pitch above the zone above the belt I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep but I'm telling you if you're calling that high strike it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher I agree with you Dero. that's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play so if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. This is the kind of a bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat. When you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches... So now to the plate, Austin Todd. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. A high strike there, and it's one and one. the stretch he's running that's a strike to throw down and it's far too late as he steals second with ease good steal of second there and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game always great if you can score first early in the game uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there pretty close it's two and two that's a great pitch for a spot like that it looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Ellis, the runner at second with one away. Runner's on his way to third. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. In now, number 52. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Side with it, one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A ball and two strikes now. The set and the one two. 
He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Tim Tao. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Blake now, Cody Huff. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 261, the average coming into action here. Three homers and a dozen RBIs. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. Settling in now, Christian Moffitt. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. No score here as we play inning number two. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. One strike. A 1-1. No. Two one. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. This offense just doesn't look like they came to play today. Ugly swing after ugly swing just needs to be a better approach across the board. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continue. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Standing in, Cam Williams having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. What a powerhouse season in the top 10 in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Lifted the other way to left center. Gallegos arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. 
but you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has, an absolute howitzer. Into the box, Eric Kennedy. Fouled away. 289 is the average coming in. Nine homers and 38 runs batted in. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Fastball. And mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Trey Felton waits on deck. Bottom of the second here with no score. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Again he sends it out of play. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got to hurry. Throw in time at first for out number two. That is done. The shortstop. Ray. Felton. Digging in now. Trey Felton. Two hits and eight tries for the series. First pitch on its way. Line drive to left. Gallegos will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. We play two full and we are tied nothing nothing. To the plate now is the designated hitter Paul Hinkle. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And now pitch on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. And a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. He's been pounding his own with nothing but strikes but that's an amazing take right there. You start getting into that auto swing mode when you think that guy's going to be around the zone. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Here's a little chopper up the middle, reined in. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. There you go. At the plate, Henry Gallegos he comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Ball, no. 
one of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his feet a little bit. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. Got it done. The third baseman. Zach. Ziggy. So digging in now, Zach Sagi, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. No ball. One strike. Now he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly One, broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now here it comes. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. One two is the cut fastball but he holds back two and two. Outside and a full count three and two. Wow from 0 and two to three and two and that last pitch on two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes but now he let him right back into this at bat. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hard hit towards center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Pat Powell. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. The catcher, Pat Powell. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. And he fouls this one off. Powell, a native Texan. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. To the plate now, Douglas Odo, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 13 home runs and 47 RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too.
standing in now, Duke Ellis, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. The 1-1 one, one is laid oh. off for ball two. Two one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And that misses up and in three and one. Fouled off. Three two pitch high in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now back, second baseman, Brandon Dixon. Digging in for his second at bat, Brandon Dixon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. The 0-1 delivery. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. The 1 1 home. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Campos has got it and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Three innings complete and we are tied, nothing, nothing. Ready now, Nick Brewster back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now here it comes. Hit hard down the left field line. But uh, this is foul near the seats. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he got him. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Stepping in now, Adam Campos. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12-10 to 10 and 9-8. to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The batter of the clock. Second baseman. Off there. Who's lit up? Into the box now, Austin Kuzminov. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. 
unable to find the zone with the slider. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2-1 home. There's a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Full count now, 3-2. and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. At the plate, Tim Tao, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Popped him up. Number 52 over to his right, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Into the box now, Austin Todd. Leading off. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. 0-1 the count. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now. One and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Todd, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box now, number 52. Ball one to start the at-bat. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. In there, one and one. To one and two now. Now the pitch. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any the signs bat. of intimidation the with these middle-of-the-order yeah. guys. That's back-to-back -back yeah. K's, and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. At the plate now, Cam Williams. As the first pitch oh. here's a bit high, it's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. The swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. 
When it left his bat, I thought it might now score back. far, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. In now, Eric Kennedy. And he puts it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the rookie first baseman, Cody Huff. Cody Huff. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. The captain, number two, Christian Moffitt. Coming to the plate now, Christian Moffitt. Here it comes. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Designated hitter. Cole. Striding forward now Hinkle. is the DH. Cole Hinkle. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. 1-0. The 1-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And he has a cut at that one, but misses 2-1. Two and one. Pitch on the way. Swing and he pops him up. Felton over to his left. And that's the third out. Now with the play, Trey Felton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Trey Felton. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yep. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Fouled away. One and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. So now to the plate, Pat Powell. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A base hit on his first trip. One oh home is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one.
He's fallen behind now, three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Now back, the designated hitter, Douglas. Hodo. Next will be the designated hitter, Douglas Odo. First pitch of the at bat. And that misses inside 1 and 0. 1 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Ball. Runners on first with one down. And he fouls this one off. Try it 2 2. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the 3 and 2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses now with that, that pitch unless it's field. really moving. Dude. So that one must now have had that. some real good late life. Box Duke Ellis as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. I'm set with the 0 1. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Henry Gallegos. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Gallego. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Popped him up. Williams in foul ground makes the play one away. The third game, number six. Yeah. Big now with the plate, Zach Segui. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Favorable call in there for a strike. One out, nobody on. And he misses with it, one and one. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. 
I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. At the plate, Nick Brewster, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0 oh. oh for 2 for him to this point. A 1-0 oh delivery. And it's fouled away. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he comes back with a fastball. 1-2 and two now. Fouled off. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Fouled away. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Kennedy is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. The bat of the pen. Look back. Add up. Tempo. Now to the plate, Adam Campos, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. He's set, here it comes. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. That misses wide, one ball and one strike. The set and the 1 1 pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move and he brings it down to end the inning as the go ahead run is left stranded. Now at the plate, Brandon Dixon. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. In there, 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Pitch on the way. No. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Max Meyer comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. Meyer. Striding in, Austin Todd. The right fielder, number 44. Austin Todd. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Unable to find the zone with the slider. 
hey, this one's tied late in the game as a pitcher right now. You just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Oh. One and one to count. Popped him up. Moffitt is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now bad. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Riding in once again, number 52. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Now here's the pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. 3 and 0 now. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the That's fact the that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Yeah. Trying to pick yeah. things up where we left off. Cam Williams, man at first after the two-out walk. Set and the pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Looking for the punch out and the offering. Oh. Two out with a man at first. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the stretch. swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning seventh inning ready to roll and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman Austin Kuzminov starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally that's taken now it's 0 and 2 his command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of the spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Even count two balls and two strikes. Two two pitches found away.
pitch on the way. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Payoff pitch one more time. And he ball lays four. off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet. Yeah, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Oh. Now batting, Tim Tao. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On the first, and you can forget about the go ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Stepping into the box, Cody Huff. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2-0. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a liner, but foul. Full count, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Ground ball left side. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, we join for the traditional double pitch Digging in to try it again, Eric Kennedy. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. That's wide, 2-0. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Now the pitch. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three one. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box now, Trey Felton. 
as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And a wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul, and that's the second strike. The stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That was a big strike out there, guys. Now the best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to, and that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. To the plate now, Pat Powell. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. And it's fouled away. Hard hit ball to second. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we still have no score. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the first-year catcher, Christian Moffitt. Christian Moffitt. Now here it comes. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Shoots this one over to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Now that. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first and the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Cole Quintanilla is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Quintanilla. Now, Paul Hinkle as he'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again.
trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. The batter, the left hit. Henry. In now, Henry Gallegos, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sacrifice attempt here. There's one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 15. Vincent Martinez will come on now to replace him as he's in the pinch run following the injury. Digging in, Zach Segui. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Number 52 in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. As a look, now the pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Quintanilla has made a name for himself as a very effective reliever in his career, but he really doesn't fit the bill as a prototypical bullpen arm. So many guys bringing huge strikeout numbers these days. He isn't one of them. No, he's not, Matty D, but what he does do, he does a great job of missing barrels of the bats. He changes speeds, moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Not overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. And that's not going to do it. Felton ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now batter, right fielder, Nick Brewster. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Nick Brewster. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. comes the first pitch popped him up Dixon is under it he hauls it in and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score Remains in the game, batting ninth and Manning left field. Number 15, Vincent Martinez will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Vincent Martinez. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the DH, Douglas Hodo. Douglas Hodo. First offering on its way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. As mentioned earlier in the broadcast, this game has the potential to result in a series sweep, but of course, with a tie game on our hands, that is no foregone conclusion. Never easy to sweep. This is one of those teeter-totter games, back and forth, back and forth, as we're tied going into the back end of this game right now. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Now the 2-0. Yeah. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Fouled off. Three two pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. On the ground to the left side. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The center fielder, number 25. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Duke Ellis. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Pitch on the way. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 and 0. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. One out, nobody on. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. Sagi shading to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. Now back, second baseman, Brandon Dixon. Stepping in, Brandon Dixon. He's hitless coming into this at-bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Now here's the pitch. Ball. One ball. Bases Don't are start. empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. And he two takes ball. ball two, Don't and it's start. two and one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Ready once again, Adam Campos. Leading off for soccer. The football. Adam. First pitch coming, here it is. Ninth oh. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Oh. One and one. He obviously wanted that call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. One one home. Whoa. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Austin Kuzminov. Kuzminov. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a liner. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Now back, the center fielder. Yeah. Now. Stepping in now, Tim Tao. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He is in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. The one and one pitch. Ball. Two one. to see right there that the manager is sticking up for his hitter making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter it's tough to cover both sides of the plate and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit here's the 2-2 pitch swing and a miss and they'll dodge a major bullet that time two away well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. At the plate now, Cody Huff. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One zero, -oh. one and one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Boy, those have to feel really now good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. A ball of no strikes. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Ball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Ground ball foul down the left side. Now the 2 1. Taken strike two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Cardinals are out in front, one to nothing. Brandon Beats is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. set for the bottom of the ninth. 
And standing in the outfielder, Austin Todd. First pitch coming, here it is. He's ready, here's the 0-1. Close with that when it's way above the strike zone. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. No doubt about it. You talk about bragging rights. Two cities that love their baseball teams. And geographically, they match up. Even though they're not division foes, it's for bragging rights. And this is what it's all about. Stepping up now, number 52, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First offering on its way. Line drive the left. Burton is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now that Boy, talk about getting into some rough luck. Yeah. That was an absolute yeah. bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Digging in once again, Cam Williams, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Loves hitting left-handed off of right-handed pitchers, hitting over 300 against right-handed oh, pitchers. Too low, 1-0. The Cardinals leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep the game is you're going to have to get some big outs in that 7th, 8th, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first is in time to get him. And the Cardinals go on the road and sweep their rivals. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Cardinals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Max Meyer wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Brandon Dietz hammers down the save his 20th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.